now the next thing i want to show you is quite complicated so if you don't understand pause the video and think how it's working but i will try to explain as simple as possible so in here i have hash error class text blue and is active bg green great now everyone knows error class always have red text so let's change it to red and active will be bg green now i have error so text will be red so this is my hash error is completely fine but in is active instead of passing this this class as a string i want to pass it conditionally so in here i will use is active to true and in here i will use that object so what will be first our class then colon then property which is is active and when is active is truthy i want to apply bg green right now let's run it and now because we has error we are always getting this red text because we defined it here hash error which gives us text red as a class which will always apply to p tag and then we have this is active property which is currently true and that's why we are getting this class bg rain okay now let's change it to false and now our bg green class is gone so this is how you can apply classes conditionally with array and object and one more thing as we use object here we can also use javascript so in here i am using ternary operator which checks if is active and if is active is true then apply bg green else apply bg gray so if i turn it to true then we are getting bg green is a class and if i make it false then we are getting bg gray now we are done with I don't know I get some error previously but everything works fine so let's move on and right now we finished class binding next we will see style binding dynamic style binding is similar to class binding let me show you some examples okay so as you can see I have dynamic style using vbind shortcut and in value I have this object property is color and value is text color which is coming from our view instance which is assigned to red value and that's why our paragraph is text red and let's change it to green and it is green and just like classes we can also add background and some property like that and we can also use that array and object so let me show you you must remember that array but you may forget about that object so style obj like this and in our data or complete property you may have style obj which will have style for your element and this is the ending of how you can apply dynamic classes and styles to your element or component which you will learn later on in Vue.js. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.